My name is Fatboy SSZ. You watching S Style Atlanta right now. Lock in. Be lit. Tap in right now. Hurry up. Quick. Um, before I was known to the world as Fat Boy, I was I was Booby from Irvington, New Jersey. So I grew up with my mother and father in the in the in the same household with my two brothers. You know, um, they was working check the check. Doing, so I had so I went out there because you know when they work check the check you can't have what you want they got to give you what you need so but sometimes you get what you want but so but I, I was the type I wanted everything you know what I'm saying so I went out and did the alternate route once I got a little older like around like 16 17 went to school drugs did that you know what I'm saying so that's what I was basically doing hanging out with my friends you know I got a hood it's called CNS so that's why I basically was at Chancellor Stuyvesant most of my life, you know, just chilling over there, and we go somewhere else, or if I go, the only time I've been out of state is when I went with my mother before I became, like, before this, before my career. Um, basically, I've been funny my whole life, because what I used to do is called hiking. I used to hike on everybody, you know, like, i always been a fat, cool, like, cool dude in the world, so I used to always hike on people, and it just, like, they used to, people used to take on to and just laugh and call me the funny dude, so funny been natural to me. I've been funny all my life. Like I've been doing, I've been the class clown all my life. I've been, you know, I've been funny all my life. But like, when I first, when I first start, when I first start knowing this, I gained that followers is when my cousin. We had, a, I did a video with my cousin. You know, um, it was when he smacked the Big Mac out my hand, and then it started going crazy. So everybody was posting it. You know, like that's a chapter of my life. I don't really, it, it's not really, it's goofy to me. Like, but it happened. So it was like my cousin smacked the big mouth on my hand and the video went crazy. So I just capitalized off that and just made my own career and made myself into a brand. But not basically off that. I, I cre like that was that was a stage in my life that when it was goofy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was goofy. Like I people didn't really know what we was doing. Right. So they were just like, Oh yeah, but it was goofy. Now we, we on to like building a brand and building a legacy and living for the youth and trying to bring the kids together. So that chapter of my life was really like over. Like it's really it's goofy when people bring it up like oh you you want a big man I don't I don't know it's goofy um where I'm going from here is basically I wanna I wanna um get the youth I wanna show the youth that you can do it I wanna show the youth that you can be whatever you wanna be all you gotta do is put your mind to it and just uh go after it and just go do it full fledged and when you get opportunities don't knock them down don't tarnish them don't mess them up because opportunities come one in a million so you always gotta be prepared and ready for what you wanna do. So I encourage the youth. I want to. I just want to empower the youth and just encourage them because them the most important thing in the world. Them the most important species in the world is the youth. Because when we like we getting older, the youth is gonna grow. They growing. They the next ones. Good doctors, lawyers. I know everybody heard it before, but they the next doctors, lawyers, vets, everything, veterinarians, everything, teachers. Uh, Directors, everything. So we gotta empower them and teach them the mistakes that we made, so they don't make. So that's why I look. That's why I, I don't look up to nobody. That's why I follow the blueprints like Puff. That's one of my uh, good people I talk to on a daily basis. Uh, Puff Daddy, Diddy, um, Jay Z. I follow his blueprint because he intelligent. God didn't meet him yet. Soon I will. Um, who else? A couple other people, you know, like, you know, just just following the blueprint and just watching them grow, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Just how to get to the bag. I want to leave like a, a, we made the world smile. We made people smile. The legacy, see, I want to put it, the legacy I want to leave is like, he made people smile. He did something. He made it, he left a mark on me. He made me like think. He made me wonder. He made me strive for the best. He motivated me. He um. He made me smile. What, what motivates me is when I, I just wake up in the morning. and I know like I got I got a job to do. Like I got to work. I like I like to get fly. I like to work. I just like to see us traveling. I just like to see me and my team traveling, mm -hmm. going around the world, and just like enjoying our lives. You know what I'm saying? Like for me, seeing my mother happy. Like you know, like taking pictures with supporters. Like I would never not once. Never not once say no to 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 a supporter taking pictures. Never not once, because that's not the type of person I am. For me, if you don't take a picture with a supporter, you, you're you're Hollywood to me. 
in Hollywood. So I would never do that because them the people that count. Them the people that if you don't take a picture with that person, them the people that are going to be like, oh, man, he scarred me. He, you scarred. You didn't leave a mark on them. You scarred them with a bad with a bad mark. You know, so I just like to take pictures with everybody. I don't care if 60, 70 people come up to me. I'm trying to take a picture with all of them. Uh, basically, my music, I've been doing music since I was 15. So it, it been coming natural to me. I got a couple records out right now. My dream team of producers right now, I want to work with Metro. I want to work with, um, I actually, I, I want to work with, what's his name? Brian, Brian Michael Cox. I want to work with Brian Michael Cox. I want to get a record in with him. Yeah, I want to I get a record in with him. I, met, I actually met him in the mall. I got his contact. We chopped it up. So I'm definitely about to work with him. And the person I work with, too, was Scott Storch. So I worked with Scott Stone. I did a, I did a hook for him. So that was major. I actually want to work with like Jay Z, Beyonce. And they produce they self too. So okay. I want to work with them. No ID. I want to work with uh, Forty. That's Drake's producer. I want to work with a lot of people. Okay. Actually, I, I really really want to work with Metro Boomin okay. right now. Like I just want to try to know like that you gotta like I, I don't know. I can't really tell him like I have a big heart. I just want to see everybody win and just go, like, you know. I can't really tell them too much. I don't know what they don't know about me because they know everything because my life is on Instagram. But I just want them to know, like, you know, like, it ain't about the streets no more. I'm not with it. When you see my video, don't think that's the way I really act when I'm in the, in the street. Or don't think, like, you know, like, you can play with me. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. this ain't no game. I'm a grown man. I ain't, I ain't. I ain't nobody else, you know what I'm saying? Don't no no offense. I'm not E Town. I'm not nobody else, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm a, I'm a boss. I'm a CEO. So treat me as such, you know what I'm saying? Like with respect, because I show everybody respect. I don't disrespect nobody, you know. Because when I be in the mall, like sometimes, like sometimes, like people come up to me like, "Yo, do something funny. Do something, you know what I'm saying? Goofy." I'm like, "What? Like you tripping? Like you, you know, like you know you. Then that, then that's when you got not ignorant, but then that's when you got to school them. That's what I call it. You got to school them. Like you know, you talking to them. Like this is a business. This ain't no game for me. If I, you know, like that's what's so. Just don't play me. Like don't. We live. Just respect me. I respect you. Give me your space. I give you your space. Give you a hug. Give me a hug. We out of here. Shit. You can find me on Twitter at Fatboy underscore S S E. Not fat boy C's, not fat boy say, not fat boy S E E, none, none of that. Fat boy S, fat boy with a Y, S S E underscore fat boy underscore S S E on Twitter. Same as my Instagram, my um, my my YouTube is fat boy S S E no underscore. Just type it in, it's gonna pop up. You can Google me.